They say that one man's trash is another man's treasure, and I live that every day. I'm literally going around picking up these old trucks and refurbing them. I just love that these trucks get a second life. Contact. Yeah. That story and that form of glory gets to live on. <laughs> Look at the big darling. Nice work. <laughs>Oh, John Kelly, the king. Yeah, mate, he just slings trucks like they're going out of fashion, mate. It's about buying cool trucks, it's about selling cool trucks, but most importantly, it's, it's about stacking the cash. Lust, power and greed. I love it! We're dealing with, you know, anywhere between three and a half to six million dollars worth of stock that we're going to turn. I'm at a point where I need to sell one to buy one. I don't think these trucks will make be honest with you. My credit report's got more bullet holes in it than Jesse James. These trucks that we deal in are uh, anywhere between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars each. I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm ten thousand dollars in the hole. Yeah, you just make sure I've got plenty of money in my bank come tomorrow. And you're gonna pay me before Christmas so I can buy some Christmas presents. No money no honey, just remember that. I put pressure on the boys, I want them to do a good job. <coughs> This was supposed to be a yesterday job, mate. I want to make sure the trucks we turn out are, are 10 out of 10s. You know, 9.75 is not good enough in my book. That seat's fucking average as fuck. It's not like I'm giving you five seconds notice. We've been talking about this for the last five days. We did 100 trucks out of this dealership last year. I want to up that by 50%. So Dave, this is going to be the priority today. We're going to build some cool trucks. Happy day. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We're going to make a lot of people's dreams come true. Congratulations. <laughs> Hopefully having enough money in the bank at the end of the week to pay wages. Show me the money, honey.